NXT, the place that it seems is more over than the main shows WWE produces. But why? What sets NXT apart? Is it the tone? Is it Triple H giving wrestlers the creative freedom to do what they can do best? Is it the atmosphere? Is it the fact that Vince McMahon is not a part of it, that he's very hands-off? Is it the fact that it's the hipster thing, it's the cool thing, it's the new thing? Let's just hate on TV, or is it the fact that it's just good? Are there promos? Are there video packages? Are there stories being told? I hear a lot about people in NXT saying they don't want to get called up because they'll get crapped on or they're not going to do anything on the main roster. It's a lot easier down at NXT, I think, to get over. The crowd is more, and I don't want to say not as passionate as the WWE Universe on the main shows, but when you're in a location such as Tampa, Florida, when you're at a school, Winter Park, Florida, at full sale, and you have a lot of the same crowd coming in, Unlike TNA, who, you know, just gets park goers and they're not very enthusiastic, the crowd helps get people over. The crowd on the main roster on WWE has a lot of different agendas. There aren't so many hardcore fans as there are casual fans. And just because something works in NXT does not mean it's going to work on the main roster. See Adam Rose, see The Ascension. But here's the thing. NXT right now has so many superstars. And here's the reality. WWE fills six hours of programming, main programming, a week on the three big shows. Add in superstars, add in NXT, add in shows they do in the UK or outside of the US. The aftermath, the, the replays. WWE with Raw produces about three hours of television. SmackDown is two. Superstars, main event. And you think about that. There's so many places to utilize talent. Main event now oftentimes is filled with people that are at Raw and SmackDown tapings. Could those be utilized for NXT? We've criticized? I think we've criticized, guys. We've criticized them in a way that used to have Sunday Night Heat or something like that, which is you know similar to Superstars or main event before the show. But you have guys that are on the main roster that, you know, if they're not going to wrestle on Raw or SmackDown, they'll throw them on Superstars or Main Event. Guys like Zack Ryder. As of late, you've even seen guys like Kevin Owens or other people wrestle on those shows. Now, I don't watch either one of those shows, mainly because of the access to them. Thanks a lot, UK, for ruining my main event jokes. But right now on the NXT roster, uh, if you take out Zack Ryder, obviously, there's about 50 superstars. 50 male wrestlers right now in WWE that are signed. Well, at least that's according to the Wikipedia page. For the female wrestlers, there's about 15 of them. That's a lot of people to keep track of. If you think about NXT, a lot of those superstars are on NXT house shows. They're there to, to craft their, their skills. But if you are a person on the main roster and you're not at these shows, you're not doing this. Well, NXT guys are traveling. I wonder if people are requesting to go back to NXT, not necessarily to be on TV or just, just to be on shows, just to wrestle. That's something a lot of people don't ever talk about if WWE doesn't have anything for them. Okay, what if you don't have anything for you, but you want to wrestle? You love wrestling. Because I think that's a lot of what NXT is. It's wrestling. Now, WWE on the main shows have been getting a lot more wrestling but it's not drawing the ratings it needs to now we don't know what the nxt ratings are we don't know if they're good we don't know if they're bad we don't know if they're record setting it would be nice to know because i'd honestly like to see if yeah, nxt on the network gets as many views or live views or replay views or on-demand views as some of the other shows because here's the thing i'm looking over this roster of nxt superstars right now and there's a lot of them you have the current tag team champions, Gable and Jordan. You have the people that faced Dash and... I almost did it again. Dash and Dawson. You have Aries. You have Samoa Joe. You have Eric Young. You have Bobby Roode. Johnny Gargano. Tommaso Ciampa. Sawyer Fulton. Richie Swan. Yes. No Way Jose, which I've really liked. I didn't think I would. You got guys that do a lot more house shows. 
like Tino Sabatelli, who's getting a lot more exposure. Guys like Steve Cutler. Guys that are pretty much there just as enhancement talents. Hugo Knox. You got the big guys like Finn Balor, Hideo Itami. There's not very many places for them to go on TV. And here's the thing. One of the things WWE has to think now is the coffers are filled. NXT is filled with so much talent. The Performance Center, absolutely loaded. You have to think, though, if you're signing with NXT and you want to wrestle, is it really, is it really the best place right now? And I would say, of course it is. There's a lot of great wrestling on NXT. A lot of people call it developmental, and now I don't, I don't necessarily consider it developmental anymore because it's, it's pretty much on par with big shows. It could be a touring third show, and they're starting to do that a lot more. You see them touring constantly. And then the superstars that aren't on the big rosters, that aren't touring in Seattle and Chicago and tours and festivals and the Download Festival and so many more, what are they doing? They're crafting their talents in Tampa, in gyms, in VAs, in doing what they have to do. And that's what I love, man. It's about the wrestling. So even if they're not on the big shows right now, they're doing what they love. Because if I'm a professional wrestler, I think there's nothing more than I'd hate to not even get the chance to wrestle. Showing up at TV, sure. Okay, I'm not getting over. I'm not on TV. I'm not the biggest thing. People aren't buying my merch, but if I want to wrestle, I just want to wrestle. Are you content with that paycheck? Or do you want to go out there and showcase? Now, if you look at the women's side, I would say, I don't want to say that there's necessarily a, a lack of talent right now because there's so many talented wrestlers, but with the big call-ups from Sasha Banks, Becky Lynch, who's going to step up? Charlotte's gone. Right now you have Asuka. Great. I like Alexa Bliss. Carmella. But other than that, I mean, you do have Eva Marie and Nia Jax, which I, I do enjoy. Peyton Royce, who never really seems to... People say she has potential, but she never really shows it. Billy Kay, same thing. Now, these are all talented wrestlers. They're all giving the opportunity or been giving the opportunity to keep going out there and doing it. You got to find what works or what doesn't work. Now, I would like to see NXT become a full-fledged show. You know, I used to crap on WWE games for the last two years for my career from having to go from NXT to superstars. But is that really uh, such a bad path to go on to get more exposure? Do you have to go right to the main roster? If there is no spots for you or you know, spots are going to be limited, what would be wrong with slowly debuting in them? And we see that a lot more now with superstars from NXT working. Dark matches... Pre-show stuff, etc. We always talk about NXT and how great it is, but you don't ever think, man, the fact that if you're not touring, if you're not in the NXT shows, you're still wrestling on house shows. On WWE, you're not doing that. On the main roster, if you're if you don't have anything, you're back in catering. And I'm sure there are some people that just want to collect a check, and that's fine. But for those people that constantly want to craft it, that's where NXT is great. So if you're in WWE and you're sitting there and you're going, I just want to wrestle, man. Do you tell WWE, like, hey, guys, I know you don't have anything for me. You know, I'm willing to do whatever, commentator, whatever. But hey, what if I go down to NXT? And I'm sure WWE thinks, oh, we were, well, we got a lot going on on TV. Ah, oh, man, put me, on the, put me on the shows. Put me on the NXT house shows. That doesn't sound glorious. Instead of going from... Three to five to ten to fifteen thousand going back and wrestling to 150 fans, but I think it's about the art, man. I don't know if any of those superstars actually want to do that or if any of the superstars really need to. You look at a guy like Zack Ryder who didn't really do anything on the main roster for a long time because WWE botched it, went down to NXT, did the hype bros. Something changed in him. There was no change for Zack Ryder character wise. He was still from Long Island. He was still wearing similar gear. He was still doing the same thing, but something about it changed. He's wrestling more. He's active more. He's he got a beard. He's, he's Zach now. This dude just, oh, my God. This dude, man, you got to teach me your workout, your meals, all that stuff. NXT provided that. I don't know if he would have got that if he's constantly just on the main roster driving between cities 
doing the same working out thing, getting constantly told, you know, we don't have anything for you being put in catering, or, hey, Zach, go wrestle this match on Superstars. NXT provides that for these people, for these wrestlers, these superstars, these performers. And I'm very grateful for NXT, man. I would love to see some of these NXT house shows. I would love to see some of these gimmicks being tried out. I really would. So when we're all preaching our love for NXT, when we're all thinking about what NXT does for the business and how Triple H has created something so phenomenal and, oh, my God, it's only great because Vince McMahon doesn't have hands on it. NXT is great because there's so many opportunities. And the fact that they're touring a lot more, the fact that they're out there getting more exposure, that the fact that they could almost, if they were touring, sell out some of the same arenas as Raw and SmackDown. Superstars that don't have that super name recognition as John Cena. Superstars that don't have that name recognition as Randy Orton. Superstars that don't have that name recognition of the big show. Just trying to get a laugh out of you. If you're watching this far, you know what I'm talking about. Isn't that crazy? The opportunities that NXT allows. Man. In Brooklyn, they sold out. I'm thankful for NXT. And if I'm a WWE superstar and not doing anything, I'm putting in a phone call. What can I do? Send me to NXT. I may not get repackaged, but I might be able to find myself. Until next time, it's your boy Tubby Emu, and we'll see you all later.